Yeah. Okay, I got. I yes, <laughs> that's what Rotten Tomatoes is all about. My folks are on the way home. Wow. Well. All right. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Well, let me go over the instructions before we get started. Yeah. Hurry up. Yeah. Components. <laughs> There's 350 movie cards. Oh. oh. And um, the goal is the first to have 10 movie cards in their collection wins. Oh yeah. Each player is dealt three movie cards which are arranged in order by their tomato meter scores. This is a player's movie collection. The player to your right draws the movie card and reads out the movie title, the other details, uh, except for its tomato meter score. Invisible friend over there, you got to give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> Bob. Yep, yep. Bob, pass it to Bob. <laughs> Guess the movie's tomato meter score ranks among your movie collection. Guess correctly, and the movie card is added to your collection. Wild cards interrupt the player's turn and include their players. The winner gains the movie card, and the wild card is discarded. Ooh. Okay. Guess I don't still don't. So basically, like, we both get three cards for our collection, but the goals have ten. So I guess I think it's kind of like this. So... Okay, I got three cards right here, right? Mm -hmm. The Matrix, Shrek, and Titanic, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I got to figure uh, the placement of things. Okay. So I'll arrange my three, you arrange your three in, in their scoring, the way they're scored. Okay. But when we draw a card in order to add it to your collection, to get to ten, from what I gathered by reading this, uh, you got to say whether it's above a certain level. Hmm. You know, to see where the rating system is. Okay. So for me, okay, the watch, matrix is everything. pretty high. It's eighty-eight percent, right? Yeah. And eighty-five percent uh, critic score. Uh -huh. And then Shrek is eighty-eight, but ninety percent. So this is Shrek goes above Matrix. Oh, does Because Shrek's got more of a higher. Higher, yes. Oh, okay. And Titanic is lower than the Matrix and Shrek. Oh, you got to put them in order. And yeah, okay. and see where it ranks among your cards. And we both kind of, it's kind of a guessing game. Right. First person to 10. So what, my question is, what one is the highest score? So right now, so you're like at the 87s, right? 91's like the highest, though. So, yep, so I, I put the highest minus Shrek uh -huh. with the 88% 90 thing. So where are you So doing your that? highest yeah. is Inception. Inception. Okay. And then your lowest is Tremors. Tremors, yep. Brokeback Mountain and Inception are what you're working with. Yep. That is your scale. Okay, alright. So you gotta see if it rates below or, uh, you know, higher or somewhere in the middle kind of deal. Okay. Kind of deal. Alright, sure, that. So this one here is Gone Girl, uh, 2014 film. Uh, a woman goes missing, and her husband becomes the prime suspect in her disappearance, even though he insists he's being framed. So I pick a card that might be higher than that one, is what you're saying? I, from what I gather... So, I, you got to guess where this movie ranks on your collection here. Is it higher or uh, lower, and where would it rank? And if you get it right, you get to add it to your collection. Where would Gone Girl be placed in your movie collection? I think medium range. Okay, between which movies? Uh, Tremors and Black, uh, Black Bro Broke Back Mountain. You're very close, but uh, no. No? No, uh, this one would be in between Broke Back Mountain and Inception. Oh, okay. So right. something like so that I is what we're doing. Okay. So this is an example card. Example card. All right. So uh, if you want to go I, first, I and, and then, and then I'll, I'll try to I figure get it out. Idea. I think yeah. Idea. And then I'm the first person to get to ten. All right. All right. Pride and uh, prejudge. Prejudice. Prejudices. Can I read? The, yeah. You don't read, read the, the score. You don't read the score. Yeah, you can read I'll the read detail. The, read the bottom part. Too. Yeah, and you can read the year too if you want but not the school. Okay, it's 05, 2005. In the 1800s, England of strong might and independent women and a wealthy, proud bachelor clash until they bargain to fall in love. I'm going to say it rates lower than Titanic. What's so, Titanic? with Titanic's my lowest one here, with 87% uh, fresh and 69% popcorn. 
I'm going to say Pride and Prejudice is somehow lower than that. I don't think. But you're close. But no, I didn't get it. Because it. Yeah, it go in between The Matrix and Shrek. Oh, okay. So, you, so basically. So you, you wouldn't. Okay. But actually, no. Titanic and The Matrix. So you didn't get it then? I didn't get it. Oh, okay. So okay. that's kind of like. All right. Know, that's kind of like. Okay. Right. Chicago. 86. Oh, shit. <laughs> no. Nope. <laughs> I said the score. Oh, no, I fucked that one up. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. The Sixth Sense is a 1999 film. It has Bruce Willis, Haley Joel Osment, a thoughtful but depressed child psychologist, tries to help a troubled little boy with his ability to see ghosts. I'm gonna say it's between Bro Brokeback Mountain and Inception. Yeah. It's got a lower score than Tremors. Is so it really? technically go oh, right here oh, if you so replace many. it. Right. So. Oh, these can be. Tough. Yeah, they can be, definitely. All right. It's about the placement and trying to place it. Is Life of P.I. 2012. With When a brutal storm sinks the ship he's traveling on, a teenage boy must share a lifeboat with another survival, a Bengal tiger. Do you know. I, I think it's an interesting movie, but it's not something I'd probably watch or be that interested in, personally. Okay. So I'm going to say it rates lower than Titanic, that has an 87% fresh score. You're right. So You're right. I get to add it right here, yep. So right now I've got four in my collection. Nice. My goals get to ten. Ten, okay. And same right, with you. sounds good. Hmm. So, The Blair Witch Project. College students bring cameras into the Maryland woods to make a documentary about a murderer who still lives there. But when they disappear, all that remains is footage they filmed. And it was filmed in 1999. And it feels kind of like something that we could put together. I'm going to say it goes below Tremors. Yes. You got four in your collection. Sweet. So, yeah, I think you're getting the hang of it pretty good. 56 popcorn? Yeah. yeah Does that mean people don't really like it? Uh, yeah, it's got a high score among critics, but audiences think it's new. Okay. Good deal. All right. Well, I'm getting it. Yeah, I think I got it. Yeah. Right, Chicago, 2002. Um, two women both accused of murder and defended the same corrupt lawyer want on to infirmary and not sure where they can get during their roaring 20s. Yeah, I'm going to say it's lower than Life of Pi. I'm not much for musicals. Let's, so Life let's of Pi is 86 but with an audience score of 84. Life of Pi. So is it got a... The question is, is does it have uh, the audience, a higher audience score than 84? Which is the popcorn. Um, no, it's one lower than that. So I think I'm actually on the right page. Can I add it? Because Life of Pi is my lowest. Shrek's my highest. Huh. Well, you'd be tied with that card. I think you can, couldn't you? Let's see. No, not tied. Oh, you can't do it? No, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's one lower. It's it's Chicago ranks lowest on my scale oh, of so movies. Okay. So Chicago, then Life of Pi, then Titanic, then The Matrix, and then Shrek. So you're right, then. Yep. Okay, all right. I guess. Huh, that's okay. Okay. John Wick. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one. 2014. Keanu Reeves, Michael Nyquist. A mobster makes an extremely foolish mistake of killing a retired assassin's dog. Yep. So the hitman sets out to get his revenge. 2014 film. The first one. Oh, shit. Where do you think I it watched that, too. Um, I think it's going to be... I'm going to put it above exception. Nope. Really? No. no it's 86, shit. but it's got 81% rating. Where, where would it go then? So I'd it? say it probably, if you were to actually put it in the ranking, it would be between these two, probably. Oh, right? so it would have been... You're lying. Damn up. shit. <laughs> that's, a, that's a, that was a good. I what? Did you watch that? That was. Yeah. Uh, that was I, I did. I did watch John Wick. Sad that the puppy got killed. Yeah, I, I watched all the way up to John Wick Four now. Yeah. Good. Did John Wick I ended up doing the series too. Yeah, I watched up to the new one. Um, Steve Jobs, 015. Ooh. Lower than Chicago. Lower. I'm gonna say it's. Man who helped. Oh. You heard about this before? 
Yeah, I didn't. Okay. I didn't hear it was very well rated. So I think it's the lowest rated one. What's your lowest one? Uh, my lowest is Chicago, eighty six percent and eighty three. I think this movie is pretty low in the scale of yeah enjoyment. Yep. Damn, this one got an eighty five. Uh-huh. But you picked low, right? Hey, it's low. Yeah. Huh. But I didn't think it'd be anywhere near eighty five. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it might just be passing sixty. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a bit higher than I thought. Oh, shit. All right, okay. Go. Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds, first one. Uh, wisecracking but disfigured superhero whose body can heal itself from any injury goes uh, after the bad guy who tortured and mutilated it. I think I would put that in between these two. So it would be after Tremors. Actually. Tremors. No. It's lower than the Blair Witch. Is it really? Yeah, I mean, it's got a good approval rating, but it's at 85% instead of 86. So then it'd probably be on the lower end. Damn. Which, honestly, in my opinion, I think Deadpool, if I were to actually rank it, I'd it'd be above Blair Witch, mm-hmm. maybe above Tremors, and then somewhere in the Brokeback Mountain territory. Oh, okay. So that... Okay. But, no. Oh, that's a, that's a, oh. Tricky. It is. It's a tricky game. I like this movie. This is a good one. Elf 2003. You got Will Ferrell and James Cameron. It's a solid movie, but I don't think it's as high as the Steve Jobs one. I'm going to say lower than Steve Jobs. Uh, 85% one. I think it might be lower. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. This is my lowest. Uh... No, I didn't get it because it'd be in between Steve yeah, Jobs and Chicago. That's what I was saying. Yeah. No. <laughs> it was up there. It was low, huh? Yeah, that's tricky. Yeah, that's tricky. Kill Bill, Volume 1. I never really get watched that. After she wakes up from a coma, a former assassin sets out to get revenge on those who betrayed her, including her ex-lover. Mm. What would you rank it? I'm going to think between Black or Mountain and then Tremors. Nope. Nope. What was it really? Uh, 85% with 81, so mm-hmm. I, I think it'd be in between Blair. probably, oh, Blair Witch. uh, Blair actually, no, I think it'd be down here. Oh, shit. Probably, like to... percentage-wise, if you were to have gotten that. Really? Yeah, lower than Blair Witch. I'm not doing the greatest either with trying to figure it's out. It's tricky. It is. This is a pain. All right. The reason why I've gotten some of them is because I've bet low. <laughs> Bend it like Beckham. Oh, Jesus. I wouldn't even watch that one. <laughs> 2002. This is tricky. British Indian teenage teen rebels against their parents to pursue her dream of being a pro sophomore. I'm going to say lower than Steve Jobs. Are you? Mm. Yeah, actually, in between Steve Jobs and Chicago. That's my bet. Are you sticking with that? I'm gonna have to. I I don't not that into the movie, but I'm, it's probably good enough. If you went lower, you probably would have moved and tied. I, actually, I am tied right now. I think so. I think it can fit. Wouldn't you have to go lower though? Could, no, uh, I mean because they can both fit in either timeline. I can just they're oh, reversible. Oh, okay. So it can go in between just uh, fine. All right, so you got it either or. I guess. Okay. Yeah, yes, yeah, because they're the same score. Yeah, so if they're the same score. If you put one in the middle. Uh, okay. Just as good. All right, all right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay. seven. I'm at seven. We go to ten, you say? Yep, gotta okay. go to ten. So right. I, uh, Dead Poet Society. It's a Robin Williams film. An unconventional but devoted English teacher inspires his students at a stuffy all boys prep school. Mm. I think it's over eighty-seven percent between Black Mountain and Tremors. Maybe? No. It's lower, in it? Yeah, it's actually rated lower than the Blair Witch Project. God, I should have said lower. I keep on thinking that. Well, that's fine. <laughs> shit for some reason. All right. Now, this, this movie game is tricky. <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's a ranking. <laughs> yeah, oh, system. Oh. Okay, here we go. You probably, you've seen this. I know I have. Okay. Mean Girls, 04. Ooh, this one's pretty popular. Lindsay Lohan and Rachel McAdams. I guess, say, between Chicago and Life of Pi. It's a bit higher up there in rating, I think. What's your what's your life of pie at? Eighty six percent, uh, eighty four, popcorn. 
You think it's behind that? Is it? Yeah, Life of Pi, and in between that and Chicago. So if we take uh, uh, Life of Pi here and Chicago, in between these two. Dude, you got it right on the money. I did? Yeah, look at it. Dude, I... No, I did not. You didn't? No. It wouldn't, I thought it, it, no, it'd be uh, actually lower than the Steve Jobs pick. Really? Yeah, I did I not get you it. Put it in between there. No, nope, because oh, okay. this is Chicago's eighty-six, Life of Pi's eighty-six. Oh. But Mean Girls is all the way in eighty-four. Oh, okay. Oh. So no, nope, I did not get it. it. It's all right. All right. Okay, I'm gonna give you a one that's. Oh, this is a bit tricky. Oh. You've probably seen it. Paranormal Activity, the first one. Two thousand seven. A little bit of it. A couple moves into a house in the suburbs, but they soon find that it's haunted and use a video camera to capture evidence. I think it's below Blair Witch. Yes. <laughs> you have that in your collection now. But it is know, below Blair, Blair Witch. <laughs> That's awesome. So. Alright, damn. Yeah, it's tricky. It is tricky. Uh, so. Miss mid su mid Oh, Midsummer. Midsummer. That Mid that's quite a horror film. Yeah, I, I watched that too. Did yeah, it was pretty yeah, disturbing. It was yeah, there was it's like a death cult. Okay, it's it's American couple on the verge of splitting up visit seemingly charmed suite of festival of friends, but their their trip soon turns into a waking nightmare. Yeah, okay. that's Midsummer. Yeah, that's Midsummer. Oh, nine. Ooh, it is quite the movie though. Oh, visually. Nine, oh, 19. You know what? I'd rank it pretty high. I think it's above Shrek. What was Shrek's rating? 88% on the fresh. I think it's higher than Shrek. You think it is? Yeah. It isn't? No. What was it? 83. Damn. I could... I, oh, wow. I don't know. I could have... you have to put it? You'd have to put it somewhere else. Yeah, I can't really put it anywhere because <laughs> I didn't get the ranking right. But I didn't know it was lower. I thought it was actually higher. <laughs> This is interesting. It is an interesting game. The Sound of Music. Um, it's a free-spirited young woman trying to become a nun becomes a governess of seven motherless children, teaching them how to sing and falling in love with their father in the process. I'm going to say lower than paranormal activity. You're very close. I am? Shit. You know, I'm going to give you an opportunity here. Where would you re-rank it? Above... Paranormal? Yes. In oh. Just in between there, you'll Holy get it. Oh, shit. Thanks. I'll give you a chance. Oh, that's awesome. Because, yeah, you know, you just get used to the game, so am I. So. Yeah. <laughs> you gave me another chance of the memory. Yeah. Like <laughs> I, I think one, one, two, three, six, seven. I'm at seven. You're six. All right, if you get close on something, I'll give you that chance, too. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we just try to give ourselves some leeway, because yeah. we're just learning this game. Yeah, we so. are. Sure. Uh, right, right, right. I think it's your turn. Yep. But if I'm too far off, I can't really run. But yeah, there's <laughs> like, like, if I'm that far off, I can't. be like, no. <laughs> yeah. Ocean 11. Ocean's 11, 2001. I'm going to be honest. I tried to watch the Ocean's 11 movie. I just wasn't into it. This one? Okay. Yeah. I just it's wasn't. Got George Clooney and Matt Damon. I know it's a big list of names, but I'm going to say lower than the Steve Jobs one at the 85%. I just, it, it's good, but it's not, in my opinion, probably a higher rank. Fresh is lower, but... Popcorn's 80%, so... Yeah, and it does fit. Oh, does it fit? Because oh. the fresh is, is like... The fresh, the fresh is the high scale. So the fresh is what you need, number you need to beat. Yeah, to okay. beat the low. Oh, okay. But okay. It, if... But where it gets tricky is if they're both like the same number. Oh. You can look to the popcorn. Oh. Just to see where that ranks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Huh. But since it's already a lower number, it's already in the lower category. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Huh. So... Notting Hill. The owner of a London bookstore has his ordinary life turned upside down when he happens to meet a world-famous actress and they fall in love. Where'd you rank this? Never heard of it, so um, I'm gonna say below paranormal, paranormal activity. Is that your final answer? Oh shit! No, it's between Sound of Music and Blair Witch. Ooh, she's so close, man. <laughs> It'd actually be ranked between uh, these two. Oh, what? Shit, not... Because not the not 79 not. here, oh, okay. 91, but it's higher than 57. God damn it. No, that's not... Yeah. But you're, you're getting that's there. Good, you're close. getting there. I, right. like, I like the open mind. good. All right, The Thing. Oh, that's dope. That's a dope movie. 1982. 
The original one, yeah. The, Kurt, the remake. Kurt Russell and an entire team of researchers face off against a terrifying alien that can make itself look like any of them. Did you let me use it? Or use yeah, it? I actually gave you, you gave a Blu-ray of it. Oh, and I a, think. Yeah, I think you did. Yeah, I recommend seeing it. It's uh, really good. It's oh, it's scary as hell. All right. It's a good horror. What film. do you, what do you think? Uh, where do you put it? It's really good, but I'm gonna probably put it in between Ocean's Eleven and Steve Jobs. I I rank it so much higher, but I just don't think that's how they rated it. The audience is great score, but the the fresh tomatoes is probably not as much as you'd want it to be, probably. So I'm thinking it's between Ocean's Eleven and Steve Jobs. That's my guess. I think you can put it there. I really don't know. B three ninety two. No, I can't. It's actually higher than these two, so. So you wouldn't. Have. I wouldn't have gotten it, but oh, it, it was close. I was close to my there. initial bet, but not necessarily no, on the money. Yeah. So how about this one here? No, no. Doom, the original Doom movie. Doom? Yeah, Doom. No, not the original Doom. The 2021 Doom that's getting the part two. Hmm. Where would you Is that write? where they kill monsters and stuff? Uh, I, they got the spices and the... I guess I don't know. Okay. I should shuffle these cards a little bit, make it a little tougher. All right, I'll but uh, Doom, the original Doom. I think I, so I think I put it in between Paranormal and The Sound of Music. There you go. Yes. Really? Yes, that I think yes. Sure. They could look at the numbers, but yeah, yeah. Oh, I can. Wow. Yeah. Twenty twenty one Doom. Damn. Good part two. Never saw it. I don't know. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen it. Yeah. <laughs> I just didn't seem interesting. The sand and what stuff. What is it about? Is it? Uh, it's something about spices. Oh, okay. There's so many book parts. I see. I think I think I might there, so I gotta try to see if I can get anywhere. Green Book, 018. Ooh, that is a solid film, Green Book. Um, I'm gonna say it's lower than Ocean's Eleven, though. Yeah, lower than Ocean's Eleven? Yeah, it, which is 83. I think Green Book is lower. Yeah, it is. Yep. The audience gave it a good score. I did like the movie, though. It was pretty solid. It was very enjoyable. You liked it? Yeah, it was well put together, well edited. Hmm. But, yeah, I just don't think for some reason it's going to beat Ocean's Eleven on the <laughs> scale. Black Hawk Down. Oh, might be a, uh, thought that was it. A special forces operation in Somalia goes awry when two helicopters are shot down and the soldiers who were on board find themselves heavily outnumbered. I'll put that between, I'm thinking, between um, the Blair Witch Project and Tremors. No. No? It's actually lower. Is it Black Hawk down 77%. Shit. Oh, if I would have said lower, I would have. Possibly, yeah. Damn. <laughs> it's interesting. Yeah, it's an interesting game. My big fat, my big fat Greek wedding. I'm going to say lower than Green Book. What's Green Book? 77 Nope. Score. Seven, six. <laughs> Shovel some more. Make sure. And I'm going to try to give you one. Right. Free Willy. <laughs> 1993. And no, it's not somebody in the park. <laughs> okay. Okay, one, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've actually gotten the ten. You won already. Right? I've actually won, but I'm going to give you a chance to okay. get the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I need three more. Yeah, you need three more. Okay. So where do you would you rank Free Willy, the little boy Prince Killer Whale in Sicily? Lower than Paranormal. Okay. Correct. So you you can get a chance for second. They ranked at seventy one. Yeah. Holy yeah, it's one of those animal ones. Oh. <laughs> oh, Free Willy was that. Uh, oh yeah, the whale thing. Yeah, I, do, I think I saw that. Um. All right. Let's see what you got. Snakes on a plane. Ooh. An assassin sets a venomous snake free on a long flight in order to kill witnesses who will soon testify against the mobster. And one FBI agent has to stop the slip of Between the free will and paranormal activity. No, probably not. No. Is, it, is it lower? Yeah. It's lower than free will? 69%. It's just got to I just up. would have had said lower. Yeah. yeah that's all right. That's all right. I'm not worried about it. Let's try to see if I can get you in second here. All right. American Psycho 2000. A uh, 1980s Manhattan and a young, handsome signal, an unsuccessful investment banker, has a secret. He's a serial killer. Lower. 
Uh, yeah. 69. <laughs> I'm to try to get you there. Alright. You can do this. Okay. Where am I at now? What? You've got mail. Business rivals who cannot stand each other. In real life, meet anonymously online and fall in love. But can their relationship survive the truth? What would you rank it as? Between marriage cycle and free will? No. Mm-hmm. It's lower, right? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta just say. Lower. I am legend. Lower. Yep. Boy, <laughs> these are stacked. Yeah. I'm tied now. Shit. We gotta have a breaker now. <laughs> huh? Okay, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine, ten. You're a ten. We're tied. So, so let, how about let's go over our from lowest to highest. Yep. And say what we think about them. Okay. Before we end this game, Charlie. Sure. So right, do you want to go first? Inception. I. Okay, going from lowest to highest. Oh, lowest to highest. Yeah. I am Legend. Um. I see, I seen it and I thought it was a good film. Um. I'd probably give it a little more than. A 68, maybe about to 75 to 80, maybe. That's fine. That's one thing. I'm just, like your opinions on the films, if you've seen them and going what, from there. What about you? Uh, my lowest, here's my big fat Greek wedding. I like romantic comedies, but I have not seen that one. So you don't know what I don't know what it's about, but it's popular enough that I remember that I've seen this. There's a TV show on it, and there's a sequel. It's your parents' one? Yep. Yeah. I heard <laughs> um, um, What about uh, American Psycho? I've never seen that. Uh, that, that, that one's got Christian Bale. Never saw it. I don't think I've seen it. What is it about? Just a, oh, serial, a serial killer. killer. Uh, I think that's an interesting probably movie, but well, I haven't you seen rate it. it since you've, oh, you I haven't seen, seen, it. seen it. I have seen Green Book, though, okay. which is second on what mine. Would get, what would you give me? I, I'd say that I, I think it's, uh, I'd give it 80%. It's a solid film. It's a fun movie, and it goes into a bit of history. Too. Really? Yeah, a guy, a guy who has to protect the guy who's... Black you and gay. 80%. Yeah. Yep. Um, the third one here is Ocean's Eleven. Ocean's Eleven. Hi, yeah. Corey. Hey, sure. Hello. Ocean's Eleven, I wouldn't rate that I, one very high. i never seen that. Huh? Yeah, I, I tried to watch it. It wasn't my cup of tea. It's one of those heist movies. Oh, okay. So, what would you rate it? Just lower than? Yeah, I just rank it pretty low because it's just not my cup of tea. And Steve Jobs one, too. It's probably a good biopic, but... I don't know. I just feel like huh. Steve Jobs has been done quite a bit at this point. Uh, Bend It Like Beckham. Quite an interesting soccer movie, but I wouldn't figure it would be at 85%. I'd have to see that, see why it's rated that much. Yeah, that's good. Chicago, I don't watch musicals, so yeah, I don't really the ranking on that wouldn't be... Yeah. Life of Pi, I probably would never see it. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, it's probably an interesting movie. Yeah, what was that? Life of Pi? 2012. Like 11 years ago. Yeah, no. But it had some astounding effects, I heard. But I just don't think the premise of a, a person stuck on a ship sounds very interesting to me. Yeah. Titanic? I like Titanic, Titanic a lot. Titanic was good. Leonardo like, DiCaprio I and Kate that. Winslet. Yeah, She's yeah. like, I'll never let go, Jack. Let's go. Yeah, I <laughs> the Matrix. What, what'd they rate it, though, the Titanic? What? 87% with a 69% body score. So what would you rate? I'd rank it high. High. Oh, okay. Higher than sh- my highest here. Wow. Shrek. That's awesome. Uh, the Matrix, the original Matrix, I like it, but the sequels progressively get more and more bullshit, <laughs> in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. So. Um, Shrek, I like a lot. Shrek I, in my opinion, it would be second to Titanic okay. on, on my ranking That's list, because I like Shrek. It's fun. The first one is very fun. The sequel is better, in my opinion, than the first Shrek. Hmm. And I didn't see the third or the fourth. Most of these movies I didn't really see myself. Well, what's third on yours? Do you see Free Willy? I might have saw that when I was a little kid. Um, I thought it was pretty... I think I remember it was pretty good with the whale thing. I think they had to save the whale, maybe. Something like that. Something like that. Uh, maybe I would up it to maybe like 74 or 75. Yeah, one of those fun kids was, films. Yeah, it wasn't like, um, you know, it was just paranormal my activity. I like scary stuff. I like that stuff. Um, I think I kind of saw it. I think I would give it maybe... Maybe 88 or yeah. just a little bit more above, you yeah. know. Dune, I never saw. So. I kind of got the hunch when you were like, Dune what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dune, I never saw, so I don't know what I would do with that. Some music? 
Do you think it's the next one out? Oh, The Sound of Music. You think 1965. Never saw it. Before. It's quite the musical. If you're, I'm in not the, into musicals. Yeah, so, oh, so they, that's probably not in your category. The Blair Witch Project, 99. Might be good, but. Never saw it, so. Well, it's one. If you like found footage movies, you'd probably like the Blair Witch, the original Blair Witch. For what it's worth. Okay. But it definitely feels like a YouTuber kind of a I don't want to rate them until I like actually saw it. I, I did see the original Blair Witch. What, do you, what so would you give it? For? I feel like a found footage movie that's like like we could have filmed it. <laughs> kind right. of a film. You would give it like 87? Probably lower than that. 85. 87. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, going through the last three here. Oh, Tremors. Tremors. It was 87. Yeah. I never be, saw Tremors. I, I heard it's good. I've, I'm trying to watch the series. Oh, all right. Yeah, Brokeback Mountain, yeah. It's, it's a gay cowboy story, so yeah. it's probably not your cup of tea. It's like when we went to go see the Elton John movie. No, no. It, it'd be like some kind of shit, so we'd have to turn our heads. Okay. Inception is the like last one, highest one on your list. Um, I did see Inception, I thought it was okay. What, so you are rated? Yeah, I wouldn't give it an 87. Okay. Yeah, that's my list. Oh, <laughs> steals it from... Oh, mm -hmm. This is about dreams. Oh, shit. Stuff like that. I'd have to see it to... Some of these to, like... Uh, understand them. Understand them. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, that's fun. Thanks, Rick. Yeah. Okay. I had fun. Good fun hanging out.